Kaysville police officer Kalawe De Los Santos stopping a wrong way driver on I-15. I basically treated this as like a shooting situation. I knew innocent lives are at risk. Last year, six people died in wrong way crashes in Utah. We just want to save lives. That struck James Giacoma of Salt Lake. So he wrote to me and laid out his idea. He said, I gave a lot of thought to this and I believe it could help save lives. He then goes on to explain a system that would detect wrong way drivers onto freeway off ramps and shine a bright light into the driver's eyes that would get their attention and get them to turn around. Turns out UDOT has been doing something similar. In fact, I think uh, great minds think alike. We got UDOT's John Gleason and James Giacoma together at the freeway on and off ramps at 21st South and 4th West in South Salt Lake. Once it was activated, bright lights right into the windshield to try to be a deterrent from getting the car all the way onto the main interstate and then about another 50 feet away have a backup because you never know what drivers are going to do. James got to explain his plan to John and as it turns out our engineers in the last year or so have been putting in these wrong way driving detection systems mm -hmm. that not necessarily do they flash a light at, at the driver, but they uh, they light up the uh, the wrong way sign with LED lights on the oh. on the outside of it, and so it's a relatively very new thing that we've been uh, that we've been doing here. Mm -hmm. But it's that same concept mm -hmm. of giving that instant feedback to to the drivers as they're approaching mm -hmm. the um, the ramps that are going the wrong way. We want to make sure that they don't get out into the the mainline traffic. As we get more funding and and we determine that this system works, we're going to uh, continue to expand that across good, the state. Good, good. That's good news. Yeah. John, it's been a pleasure to know you. James, thank you so much.